people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about something interesting because I, because I do think it's an interesting, interesting thing worth talking about. And it pertains to the monster himself, Edgar Berlanga. Now, Edgar Berlanga, for those that know and for those that don't know, Edgar Berlanga will be fighting March 19th at the theater. In Madison Square Garden as he takes on the 37-year-old uh, uh, former world title challenger. I believe he was a former, was he a former? Yeah, I think he was a former world title challenger when he fought Golovkin. Uh, Steve Rolls, he's fighting Steve Rolls. And, um, you know, it's a fight that he's an opponent that top rank picked for a reason because, you know, Steve Rolls is 37. He's only had one fight at 168. He's not really known for being a big puncher. It's, it's looked at to be a safe opponent for Edgar Belanga, a fight where he can showcase his skills get in a good knockout and get back to winning ways, get back to building up that hype train that he had before his last two fights when he was knocking everybody out in the first round. And um, this is a fight where he can, ex I, I think he ha he can experiment, he can show some new things and, and, and it looks like he's going to work on some, he's been working on some new things because I saw it on Instagram, Edgar Belanga is working with uh, Mickey Bay. Yes, that Mickey Bay. And, uh, you know, Mickey Bay, um, I had a chance to, 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 to meet Mickey Bay recently in, in Las Vegas during my last trip there. Um, I've known, obviously, who he is for years. I mean, I, w I went to see him fight when he fought Bartholomew here in, in South Florida. Um, and Mickey Bay is, a, is, is, a, is, a, is, is someone that he's been offering a lot of his knowledge to these young fighters. You know, uh, obviously, he, uh, he's most renowned for working with Devin Haney and... Um, you know, I think I think Mickey Bay, what he brings to the table with Berlanga is he's going to add what Berlanga needs because we know Berlanga can punch. We know he's strong. We know he's confident. But what Berlanga needs are those subtleties, you know, the ability to faint, the ability to change rhythms and cadences, the ability to throw different types of jabs, the, the, the ability to faint and jab, jab and faint, to mix things up. These are things that Mickey Bay did when he was a fighter himself. And these are things that he learned himself as a young man. Uh, cause most people don't know this. Mickey Bay, um, actually spent, he was like this with Emmanuel Stewart, um, you know, training in the gym with him, learning from him. He was on the Kronk boxing team. So he, ha he, he knows about the nuances of the sweet science of boxing. And if there's anybody, um, that could get Edgar back to, not just get back to where he was, but even better than he was when he was knocking everybody out, it's Mickey Bay. Because I think Mickey Bay, you know, he's going to be someone in boxing as time goes on that, that becomes, uh, or that, that is already a, a, a really good teacher of the sport, but that becomes recognized by the masses as a great teacher of the sport. Because, um, you know, it's what he does. It's, it's, it's what he learned with Emmanuel Stewart. It's, it's what he was as a fighter. He was a fighter who had a lot of nuanced skills, a lot of subtleties. Uh, and the things that Edgar's lacking is what he specializes in. So I think to me... It could be a match made in heaven. I, I really do. I do think that um, Mickey would be good for Edgar because Mickey Bay is a very laid back person, but he knows how to deliver those instructions to, to a fighter. And, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I don't think, I'm pretty sure he's not the head trainer. I think Edgar's still with Andre Rogier. I'm not sure if he is or he isn't, but I'm, I'm going to assume that he is. Um, and I think Mickey Bay is just there to help out and, and, and offer what he can because Edgar's in Vegas. Uh, why not lend a helping hand? And you know, Mickey's Mickey's one of those guys. You know, there's, there's a lot there's a lot of people in boxing that um they don't really want to be famous or anything like that. They don't really want the recognition. They just want to be part of helping these young fighters grow and being part of their process. And, and Mickey Mickey strikes me as one of those guys. So I think I think it will work out. I think this is actually what the doctor ordered for Edgar. And I'm looking at March 19th, hopefully for Edgar's sake, being a a, a big performance from him because um. You know, he needs one and, and, and he needs to show some growth. And I think Mickey Bay is the kind of person in boxing, the kind of teacher in boxing, the kind of guy that when he lands a helping hand, it'll be to the uh, the betterment of Edgar Belanga. And we want the betterment of Edgar Belanga because I think boxing in the super middleweight division moving forward will be a lot more exciting if Edgar Belanga continues to progress and show his level in the sport and, and improve. So that's the news. Mickey Bay working with Edgar Belanga as Edgar Belanga um, uh, marches towards improvement and, and growth in the sport and, and, and hopefully you know maybe in two years time a, a world title shot so uh yeah you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below mickey bay 
you know, uh, Ohio's very own Mickey Bay working with Edgar Belanca to get him right to, to improve him and show some growth in his next fight against Steve Rose come March 19th. So you guys leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.